everybody. Welcome on the Lee Greatness on Facebook and on YouTube. And uh, welcome on Hilla. You can all the same as in Bayer Fair and Mokar and Mokar. So that Bayer has a very good display. That's last uh, our faith that we get. So welcome this morning. I hope you enjoy the service with us. Okay, I've got a few announcements. I've got a few announcements that we've made, but the longer it is. So I always believe that we have a good song. Um, ons het een doopdienst die 29 ste augustus, so as jy nog nie gedoop is neem, as jy on, uh, op lijn kyk, if jy look up, uh, watch online and you have not been baptized in our church, one of our members, please contact the church office. Maak as dit seker jy by die kerk gaan koop, hulle gaan jou opzit. Dan het ons um, FFI nummer 2, AP2, die 19e tot die 21 ste augustus, so as jy nog maar 1 gedoen het, en jy het nie nog nummer 2 gedoen nie, is een kant, ek weet die vorige groep van sy persie, hulle gaan allemaal nummer 2 doen, en daar gaan die plek wees vir die ander mens nie, maar as iemand nie kan kom nie, is een kans weer. Goed, in die sessie maande aande, prijs en woordje oefening dinsdag aan, en dan hierdie week woensdag selleer vergadering. Al die selleers by ons, by die gemeente, woensdag aand het ons selleer vergadering. Goed, donderdag aand is selle dan in Borokwane, en hier vrydag, Dan het ons ISM wat begin hierdie week, donderdag ochtend en donderdag aand ISM 1 en ISM 3 en dan sondag aand het ons ISM 9 wat dan aangaan, dit is die International School of Ministry. Sou jy belangstel om die klasse by te woon, kontak die kerk aan te kontak my, ons gaan kyk waar ons het in een slot met die bybelschool wat ons bezig is om te doen. Ek gaan vraag aan Brins dan van Storen te kom, ja vir julle. Ons gaan met die eerste liekie recht maak om ons die dus in opgegaves te kree. En ons is nou vir die hele maand het ons nie kaart gehad, we hebben die church for a month. So, now physically to be here in church and to just give our tithes and offering again and not to give online is something different. So if you watch it online, you're still welcome to give online, but we can physically give it this morning. But I want to start by saying, let's give ourselves first. Voel ons ourselves first of all, and then here. And the full song is not now a month of your gacha, it's a good feeling, but as soon as you begin, it's going to be good. Let's start. So let's want to give. Father, we thank you for the Jylle, dankie vir morgen, dat ons ons self eerste kan geer. We can give ourselves first this morning. En jylle, ek bid vir elkeen wat hier is, elkeen wat kyk vir morgen op lijn, jylle, dat ons een aannemelike offer sal wees vir u vir morgen. Al is dit na een tykie wat ons weer by mekaar gekom, jylle, dat ons net in die teem waar ek het sal staan vir ons. En wie het eers God? Eers God oor ons levens, eers God oor elke ding wat u ons gaan, en jylle, eers God oor ons finansies. En mag jy geëer wees, soos wat ons geëer van morgen in Jesus Christus naam. Amen. Mag jy dat geseem wees as jy dat geëer? Amen. As hy, goeie morgen al moet gaan het. It's been a long time. So ons het allemaal op nou geweer om te sing. So as jy dat gelijk hier hoor. Skies, my stem breek weer. Ons wil gauw volgende gaan, so toe en advertentie breek, wat Jan is nie... Ek gee jou my kap af en staaf in die dit om ons te sien, wat gaan jy met ons? Ons het die voordag gehad, ons is mense van lang termijn plan. Ons sien jy is uit vir die met die wet, ek sien jy het allemaal gesien. As jy nie die Facebook blad gelijk het nie, mense, gaan like om, as jy blijf. Dit is vir baie gaal wees. Jy sê sê jy, weet jy wat, die manne hier, met jy wist al om daar met die wat al een rikkie hier was. Soos by voorbeeld, ek wil wanneer ek ouwe heer, my koning, Josh Jando, die kan vir Josh nie daar, die is ons sy liekie. Aan ver, Jy Anderson, die oor, Dion, Leticia, 
Ik weet niet, ons allemaal al geskyf van seizoene, maar hierdie was, hierdie was ons beplanning, was in Jewe Nakkerie Korik in 2013, toe ons die faals na die tyd begin terugspeel en aan die faals werk, was my drommer so die mekaar verkleed die bal was heen. Maar ek was hier nie vry nie, het was echt leuk. En in elk geval, toen ons hierdie gedreig maak, het het een baie lang tydperk gevat en ons het hierdie goed met die Heerense genade reg gemaakt en wat toe nou gebeur is, Toe gebeur die hele lockdown en alles en daarna toe gebeur die riots. Ons maak die series het staan in een warehouse in Johannesburg en die man bel my en hy sê ek het vir jou baie slechte nies. Want die series is in een van die gebouwe wat gedood en afgebrand is. Ek weet nie of jylle nog series het nie. Hy sê nee, ek is fijn, ons wacht een week. Na een week gaan hy terug, toe hy instap, toe hy nie gebouw so ook maar achter in die hoek staan al ons bokse. Amen. So wat ek wil ook te sê is so, ons weet het was die Heerlijkse tyd wat hy nou ons uitkomst, so krijg jy jou CD, is een wonderlijke CD, die ouwe sê die op sing kan, ek dink hulle kan sing. Nee, voor die daal is ons groter as ons, is alles sê. Maar in elk geval, mense, as ek die kry CD, het is een wonderlijke ding, is net Afrikaans, bedien van julle wat Engels is, jy leer die Hemelse taal, Jy gaan hemel toe gaan as jy die CD het, dit is soos een paspoort by die hek, en veel man sê, ek het daar op die paar as die CD gekoop, ek spot het. Yeah. 
Yeah. 
from here, let us see that. What a great couple of scouts we have. We can sound together, we can gather again a bit together as uh, the children of God this morning. We want to quickly greet some people who are watching us live on Facebook. We want to uh, say hi to Ashley Jane from here. Ashley, good morning, Heaven from here with uh, Mary and Schlebusch, Stefan Jacobs, Henry Trebek, Megan Dreyer, and Minky, um, Thelma, and all of you guys watching online. Good morning and welcome. It's really good to have you with us. It's like a Om jylle allemaal saam met ons neem, maar is baie lekker om jylle hier te verloren. Een paar mens is wat ons graag wil gelukt wens, voor ons begin. Als eerste, uh, misschien met die niets, de Jakku, wil jy sê, jy sê, is al opstaan, baie gelukt met jylle hier. Wil ek het ook recht leid, met jylle hier. Is nou wat, ek het hier nie. Ja, die dag van dag is die derde getrouw die sonde. So, baie gelukt met jylle, en uh, ja, we just would like to congratulate you, baie gelukt. En uh, ons wens jylle die beste in sien in die Heere toe. En dan, ek weet nie, Gerrit, het ons vir jou minister al gelukkig gesê, en ek, ek kan nie onthou nie, maar by jylle opstaan, kom ons sê, by hulle gelukkig, hulle so kort uit die kreer, en by hulle tyk die kreer, en ek kan baie gelukkig jylle, en we are really rejoicing with you, en, ja, wat een blijdskap, ons is al in die eerste augustus, it's the first of august, can you guys believe? Sure. So, before we move into the word, ek wil ons in die word inspring, Is daar iemand wat miskien een woord of een getuienis gehad het, wat hulle graag met ons wil deel, then you're welcome to come and do so. Want jy daar welkom so te bewaarde. Goedemorgen, ek krij die woord, het is I and go live into your nostrils. En ek sê vir jou neef, al eer vir jy. Dank jy, Jesus. Ek het net vir iemand op hom gelukte sê, jy is wat vir jaar hier die week, die derde is Henry Kjellenhuis, die vijfde Gideon Hubert en Phoebe Hubert, waar hy geluk, Karen Jacobs die zesde en Shane Johnson die zevende. En dan het ons voor Jan en Tenny, Tanny Mary en Bosshoff die zevende, wat dan die zevende vir jou baie geluk van hulle. Is dit al die hevelikse uitgevoerd? Al die hevelikse uitgevoerd, ja. Goed, as kies, en dan ons die 28, dit is so die een wat datum sê, terwijl het was die 28ste augustus, Sentershot, open dag die by die kerk. Nee, 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 dit is een competitie. Ja, kom wel. Ja, kom. Ons gaan allemaal wat wil skiet, laat ons skiet, en ons gaan een competitie heen. So die eens wat in die laarskool is, gaan laarskool skiet, die eens wat in die hoerskool is, gaan hoerskool skiet, en dan gaan ons ouwe manne. Ons gaan bykie tegen mekaar skiet hier so. Ons gaan bosboekjes hier die dag, en as jy net wil kom kyk, Jy kan een kopie koffie op die koffie thee saam met ons kom drink in die tuin, so jy was allemaal baie welkom om dan die 28 augustus saam sente shot te kom doen die saam met ons. Baie welkom. Dankie Lene. Daar is selde dag gaan ons, ek weet nie vir die kamer daar staan, daar is selde dag gaan ons ook springkasteel en so net die kleiner kinderkies, maar weet jy wat, die tweejarige kan daar vir nie, so as twee op my not be able to shoot with a bow and arrow, but by God's grace, they can play in the jumping cards, all right? Mm-hmm. And they can back up a Sprinka Steel Spiel. And uh, we would like to give, uh, we're having a local competition because of course with COVID, but COVID is in national competitions other years of the ice. So also the sleigh is always what so good ski that was a lot of accounts with here and we keep a competition. And uh, for Elke Oude in our group is the winner of the first place of Dyson Brand. And the second place is 500 Brand. Die derde prijs is, jy betaal die eerste twee sy prijs. Dit is een grap, jy hoor. Vir die paas is die eerste prijs een pak bulken. So, of, nou, miskien het is een grap, ek weet nie. Dat sal maar sien. Net ook aan die worships, man, en allemaal baie geluk met jylle serie. We would like to congratulate you with your CD, en and uh, we're thankful to God that we have already got it out. It is available for you guys. I believe it will be a blessing. It's a serious. This will direct my things after the youngest to the table. And uh, grab your coffee. Get your coffee. Listen to her. Take us with you when you go to Cape Town. Take us with you when you go to the... Take us with you when you go to Pretoria. Talk us with your song. And you'll be enjoying some worship. Um, and a uh, uh, good time in God's presence as you listen to this evening. Um, as we come to the service this morning, before we start, 
oftentimes we, we share scriptures from the old scripture that we actually have spoken about before. But the Lord actually speaks to us from a different angle. And speaks about something completely that I've not seen in the portion of the text that we're going to be speaking about this morning. So we're going to start in Mark chapter 2, as we're going to Mark is 2. And I said, as some of my go, yes, the Bible can the gedeelte, and we start from verse 1, and it is Jesus uh, forgives and heals a uh, paralyzed man. And actually, it's a very well known Bible can the gedeelte. We're going to quickly read through it and jump to some portions of scripture. I hope time will allow us. I hope it takes on us too long. Maar prijs die Heere vir sy goedheid vir ons. Amen. Amen. As jy in langs iemand sit en jy mag hom omvat, geel my vir dit. <laughs> Just give them a little hug this morning. Say, well, well, good to be with you. So we read verse 1. A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come back. Die mens het gom. Excuse me, but they are this. So many gathered, so by the makar gom, that there was no room left. Not even outside the door, and he preached the word to them. I felt that he the word with him. Some men came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four of them. Hulle bring hierdie verlamde man wat gedraaf word. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, you know the obstacle they faced. There was no way through the door. There was no way through the window. There was no way. They were surrounded by impossibilities. And they only by Jesus come. And now, as we hear him on here on the road, we hear him on the road, and we hear him on the road, and we hear him on the road, and we hear him on the be alive at that time, doomed you to a life of begging on the streets, becoming a beggar. And so, this man, to, for him to come to Jesus, his friends had to do an extraordinary thing. I bet if you find it all sound meeting, how to break lady duck with. They broke open the roof to get this man to Jesus. Sometimes the difficulties and the problems we face really keep us bound. And I, I always like to start in a New Testament scripture before I speak from an Old Testament verse. And what happened is, since they could not get to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus. Um, why are for the films from the Irish deal the ways that there is a a gap in the dak, but they are good open up to be there and so on. It was not so. And then the dak broke. After digging through it, some of old guys are saying, "Oh, get inside the boat and go." But the point is, they were really desperate. They were really desperate. They made an opening in the room above Jesus after digging through it, lowered the mat the paralyzed man was lying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now, funny, um, the last funny bit in Pharisees was done. They were thinking to themselves, so they come out here, but why does this fellow talk like that? He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Immediately, Jesus knew in his spirit that this was what they were thinking in their heart. And he said to them, Why are you thinking these things? Who can't think of it? What is Mark of the same? Your seer is vergeven, ach, your son is vergeven, of, neem your man op, in lieu. And Jesus said to the Bible, you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, take up your bed. I tell you, take your man and go home. And this man received his breakthrough immediately. Net to hy by Jesus kom, maar weet jy, elke van ons wat Jesus sit, is soms in omstandighede, when we don't have options. This man had run out of every other option. There was only Jesus. There was no other option. When we go to the book of Exodus chapter 14, we see a very similar situation. We've spoken about this much before. But there's a point I want to make 
En oftentimes, we come into situations in relationships, misschien in jou gezondheid, die dokter geeft vir jou een absolute slechte um, verslag, wat jy, weet jy, jou gezondheid is van so aarde, only God can now help. There is no, no other option. Maybe in your business, you're sitting in a situation where you know what, only God can help you. And you don't really know what to do. You have a few options, a few months ago, but now you are out of options. Israel was in that place where they were out of options. And we can read it in Exodus chapter 14. Let's read from verse 1 and then give the picture and then I'm going to start ministering from the scripture. Exodus 14. And I know that we all know that what Israel for the Roy Sea came. And here is the first 18 verse in the Egyptian Arabian. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to turn back and camp near Pi Hahiro between Migdol and the sea. They are to camp by the sea directly opposite Baal Zephon. Pharaoh will think that Israelites are wandering around the land in confusion, hemmed in by the desert. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart. You see, and I will take track and I will stand for the Roy Sea. And then we are going to skip the part where she skipped. Verse 9 says so, The Egyptians and all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen and troops pursued the Israelites. En overtoek te hebben. Voel op, al hier vijanden met al hun wapens hier in jou optrek. En dan staan er hier voor je. Now you are out of options. They were out of options. Vers 10. Oh, wel, vers 9. Pursuit het is wat ze overtoek te hebben als ze kwam bij de zee neer bij haar hier op. Opposite Baal Zephon. En als verder approach de Israelites en lukt af. And they look up and here were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified. They had a angst geword. They had to look at the Lord. Here they stand before the sea. The Lord, they had to look at the Lord. The Lord had to look at the Lord. He said, so this way. Here is the sea on the one side. The berg on the other side. The berg on the other side. And here is far away. Now they are trapped. But you know, God was setting a trap for Pharaoh. Not for Israel. God was dealing with Egypt. En hij positioneert hem daar, hij staat daar. En je kan ook zo voelen, je weet, nou kan die dokter je niet helpen, die bank kan je niet helpen, nou kan die procureur niet helpen, niemand kan je helpen. Hij staat daar, niemand kan je helpen. Maar kijk wat doen we nou? They cried out unto the Lord. En hier die situatie was daar geen ander uitweg nie. Wie van jullie het al zo gevoel? There is just no way out. So som Alex, dit is nou helpen hoe vertel het. Nou is ons in die moeder. En dit voel op die ouwens die achter hulle, die van hier is een aas en blaas so op jou rug. Jou vijand is een aas en die voel op so tussen jou blaas. Ek was een paar weke gelede nog wel rechtig siek gewees en ek wil vir jou sê, al was een paar aanden wat ek gevoel het, die jimmel is rechtig in een aanden. Maar ek het een aand sê, ek is aan die jimmel in een hart, ek krijg, ek voel nou so benauwd, Ik voel nou so, ek is in benauwd hier. You know, we hadden really felt, ek skit so, ek kan nie praat, en dan ek het, ek het so tip misschien. But by God's grace, and a lot of warm blankets, maar na die oomlik, calling out to God, Jy stap ook nou in die plek, jy stand maybe nou in a relationship where you pray for someone and it looks like things are getting worse. Wie van jy dit al dit gesien? You pray for a situation that feels like it's just out of the pan and into the fire. The situation just looks more dire. And you don't have any way to save yourself. Here's what people of faith then have to do. They call on to the Lord. Sometimes it feels like we come to the place where God brings us to the end of ourselves. Ons kom tot die einde van ons eie antwoorde. Ons kom tot die einde van ons eie uitweg. En hier staan hulle en hy call unto the Lord. Vers 12 sê so. En hy sê to Moses, was it because we, there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us out here in the desert to die? Was dan die grafte daar op ons hier moet trek nie? Was dan nie in my graf plaas daar nie? Why have 
you done to us? Het is dit klink wat hy Jesus die woorde van jou vrou nie. Wat het jy aan ons gedoen? Doe jy ons hier dan toe bring? Wat het jy daar bezigheid vir ons aan ons gedoen? Klink soos jokse vrou, is dit nie? Misschien is dit jou man wat vir jou, so my nie jou hasten sê. What have you done to bring us out of Egypt? Didn't you, didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians, it would have been better for us. That's so beautiful to me. No, Austin, was all it okay. But he, he, this will be better than it would be for me. I'm in my father. I was right now in the car, and I was talking to you in the radio from Al die families wat so saam begin bly, die families are really starting to live together because of financial difficulties in our nation. En die bedraving so, en die uit op een stadium sê, sê my, hoe is gonna pay for the therapist? You are forced in positions where you think, oh God, oh God, what now? The reason I'm speaking about this, as I was praying in this week, I heard the Lord say, just move on. Amen. I heard the Lord say, as I prayed for this service, they went for the Dienst book, but we are for it. But we are for it. And I've been thinking about this, and I've never seen it in the Bible. Actually, I, I know of a verse that you can read it in. But let's look at verse 13 and 14, and then we see it. Moses answered the people, do not be afraid, stand firm, and you will see the deliverance that the Lord will bring you. Listen, you are being set up by God so that you will seek Him and see His mighty power. He is still the greatest healer. He is still the greatest way maker. He is still the greatest deliverer. He is still the Lord Jesus Christ who is on a white horse, who is in victory. He has still destined you for victory. Moses says these words, the Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. I had a sermon on that before. The Lord will fight for you. You need to only be still. And here is what I've learned. What can we do? 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 The first thing you do in faith, you become quiet. You won't stop. You turn your eyes to God. And then there are these, there is these words that God said to Moses in verse 15. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. God is saying to you and me, Don't look at your circumstance. There's a miracle ahead. Amen. <coughs> there's a breakthrough ahead. Get ready to move on. They couldn't move on. There was a sea. Hello. They couldn't move on. They were standing at the sea. I didn't bring it anymore. Also, some park here with here. And as I hope you slap and slap with you. And I get after the come, I can see your boy and so you drink. I don't know if I can flood. Oh. Oh. I can make a surfboard to go. The surfboard to break to go. I can still swim. Toen vind ek uit. Ek het altijd gedoe met die lekker sies of tank, maar die reed het nie woord dit. Hulle staan voor die rooie, is een baan van die linker kant, een baan van die rechter kant, die gitte daar achter, en God sê, move on. Maybe you're standing in your situation thinking, move on there. Laas week kon ons nog trek, maar hierdie week is trek te blijf. Ons kon gister nog een move maak, maar vandag die move op klap. Ja, dus is die kinders kaart speel. So the Romans can't make us cheaper. As soon as they reject my, they take you and without you looking, your pieces disappear. Something happened here. Wait, now I just went to the bathroom, I was still having you check my, now where's my pee? Yeah, I took it with my horse. Your horse was still in its stables. But the point is that you get into the situation where you know what, the bank is on you and there's just no way out. Your health is conking 
in your situation, you, maybe a relationship is totally crumbling. Maybe that person you trust in God for became a worse alcoholic before than before you prayed. <laughs> You've been praying for deliverance. God set them free. Jesus set them free, and then you find them. You were buying at spa, and here they come out of the bottle store <laughs> with their trolley. Say so, hi. They bought a year's supply. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, my prayers are not yours. But God is setting you up for faith. Not for faith. In life, oftentimes we come to places, as small planker, where we run out of options, and God is saying to us, it's time to move on. Just get ready to move on. And I believe that God is positioning us to move on. I said um, in the last few months, praying to God for specific breakthroughs. For a specific idea broken. For a specific situation on black and fall. And you know what God said about it? Just trust me and move on. You know this scripture in the book of Isaiah 49 verse 23. Sorry, the sign of the front of If you can just put it up and, and if you have a pen, quickly write some of these verses down. It's really important. Kings will be your foster fathers and queens your nursing mothers. They will bow down before you with their faces to the ground. They will lick the dust at your feet. Then you will know that I am the Lord Then those who hope in me will not be disappointed. Die wat op die Heere vertrou, die wat na hom kyk, die wat na hom roep, sal nie teleergesteld staan nie. God is not into disappointing you. Well, when you look at the Israelites of the Red Sea, they look quite disappointed. Was daar nie genoeg grafte om ons daar te begrawe, dat ons nog nie naartoe gebring het? Christiane sê vir my, jy begrawe my oor my dooie lichaam en dood die gaan. Die vat my terug, duits man. As ek ooit hier so omkom, sê God, we are not in the oncoming business. It is in the engel. We are not into the passing away business. We are into life. Allah, uh, I'll send you home before you die. <laughs> I'll, I'll go and visit with you. Just tell me when it is. It will be so good. <laughs> That's in the Old Testament, Romans 10 verse 11. The man in verse 12 in the Hebrew Testament is so. Romans 10 verse 11. And it speaks about God not disappointing us. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him, anyone who trusts in him will never be put to shame. I have the uh, amplified version here. It says, for the scripture says, whoever believes in him, whoever adheres to trust in and relies in him will not be disappointed in his expectations. Israel was not a black kid, now it's for me with us. He is all the Egyptian army. God made us into a trap. Your boss for me is from the Satan gestuurd. Because of my wickedness and sin. No. God sent you there for his salvation. And what the enemy determined to destroy them, God used as a miracle. He's the same person that will still step into the fire for you. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was in the point of stepping into the fire, the Lord was already there. You know, when you are in the fire, He will walk through the fire with you. Isaiah 49 says, The rivers will not wash you away. For the Lord is with you. But it's, it's a time when, when you get to this place, when we're in this place in our life, it's a time to take our focus off from what's going on around here. How do you focus up and put it on the Lord? It's time to cry out to God. Hebrews 4 verse 13 says, Let us boldly approach the throne, 16, 14, 4, 16. Let us boldly approach the throne of grace. Let us with fine moedigheid naar die troon van genade gaan en help ontvang en ons tyd van nood. 
Are you maybe in a time where there's a need, the situation is pressing around you, life is pushing you, that relationship is pushing you, that situation at work, that situation at home, that situation in your finances, maybe in your business, you're being pushed. It's time to approach God. When all other options fail, but God. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive help and find grace to help. Oh, have mercy, but I receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. I'm telling you, many of you guys are being set up for a mighty breakthrough. It's a new season starting for you. It's a new season starting. People, listen. God is saying to you, look at me and move. Step out by faith and see my hand. And I will deliver you. And misschien het ons een verwachting dit gaan hierdie situasie wees. Misschien het jy verwachting die Heere gaan dit gebruik en die Heere gaan dat doen. But he has a completely different way. He will take you through the obstacle. He took them through the Red Sea. He will take you through. Om Henry het altyd gesê, dier gaan ons dier. Boe dier, middel dier, onder dier. Dier gaan ons dier. Ek het altyd, die so in die kant van die kerk is hy, gap en kie, ek het altyd gevoel as ek wat dier gaan, dan gaan ek dier. Maar dier is dan met, met die blessing van die Heere, gaan ek nie dier. Ek gaan nou maar om. <laughs> But we need to push through. Close your eyes for the situation. It was when they were looking at the Egyptians and they saw them, that fear came. You know, Jehoshaphat in 2 Kings chapter 20, couldn't you listen to Come on, and And you know, there's so many scriptures in the Bible about people in crisis and God delivering them. Three Nazis follow the army. The army is so great. The leaders so great that Jehoshaphat said, we have no power against them. And you know what? When they realized we can't save ourselves. When they realized this situation, there's just no hope. There was a day that I got very, uh, I felt really bad that day. And you know, I sat there and I thought to myself, what am I going to do? That day, Vida arrived and she brought me a tablet that really helped me. Sit to yourself and see, really good. God knows how to help you. God knows when you are in that place and you need, Lord, I need you. When you look to him, he knows how to get you out of the way. He knows. He's been doing this for 6,000 years. He's a pro. He created the heavens. He raised the dead. He saved his people. And here's Jehoshaphat. And here come a half my own point. As a brief. You make my verse deeper. Yeah, two of you can turn up verse small. But Jehoshaphat, but then at the end of his prayer, he says this. You can read the verse. Then the and I know Second Chronicles. Yeah, twelve verse. Ah, twenty verse twelve. Sorry. Oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this vast army attack. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. God, we have no power to change them. God, I don't know. And you know what they did? The Lord spoke to the prophet and told them, send out your army, but put the worshippers in front. And you don't even know. Let's praise the Lord as we go to praise them. 
Hallelujah, he's coming. <laughs> if we say that we praise now, we're going to heaven soon. <laughs> Let's just get things sorted. Come on, so the lady that was last to saw this, we saw. Maar dan na in die vijand sy leer, dit sy teen hulle gestuur. Dit jou hee af, jy didn't feel like that then. Huh? You know where that battle happens for you? Want hy in jou binnenkamer gaan, en jy take a worship CD, en jy put it on, en jy close the door, en jy just worship Yes, Lord Jesus. Want eindelijk het daai tyd toe bid hy, my vrou die Heere, Heere, hoe gaan ons die oorwinning kry? Hoe, hoe gaan jy dit doen? En die Heere sê vir hom, dans, sing, en lach. But you know, as jy hebt jou baas daar staan en sê, <laughs> hy sê, hy sê, hy sê, jou laaste baas op sê, I will worship you. <laughs> He's not going to be happy, huh? He doesn't even dare. <laughs> He's your last of us, Kevin. He doesn't even dare. He's going to be open and calm. When you've been created and declared, you sing me down, Praise the year with my God. And you feel like you're going to be on your back. Ons het so paar jaar geleer het, en ook by ons in die tuin gereg, en ons wil het, ons het een paar plat geskyf. Toe sy baie slim, hy was nou nie lus om het uit te gaan nie. He wasn't uh, really up, he didn't want to dig it out, I don't know why. We wanted to move some plants. So what he did, he just dug a bit of a hole, and then he chopped off the tree, without the roots, and he planted them all. And we were fertilizing them, and we were watering them, we were praying for them, and they died. And so I stood there and I said to Christiana, and she was very upset. I told her, listen, I don't know, but something's wrong with its roots. And so I took the bush, and as I just touched the book and came out, there was no roots. You know what? Many Christians are dying because they don't have a root. They don't have that time with God. Yes. They don't have that time where they seek Him in their inner place. When the door is closed, and now it's you and God. You call out to Him for that healing. You call out to Him for that breakthrough in your business and in your finances and in your health. For the Lord is the God of the breakthrough for you. He is your God. And you went by, you come with rass and blast next to all of You change nothing by getting upset. You know, and I've now read to hundreds of people such lives and called for us in the world. You know how we change? Seeking God's face. You know that when Jehoshaphat was in this situation, he called out a fast for three days. And every person, man, woman, and child fasted. Even Fifi, the poodle, had fasted. All the animals fasted for three days. Garfield the cat had no lasagna. For three days, there was no food. For no one. Because they turn their eyes upon the Lord. You know, we've become lazy when it comes to seeking God. We've become lazy when it comes to fasting and praying for a breakthrough. But when you go to the scripture, it reveals to us that there's a way. And that way is to move forward in God. That way is to dig into Him. Come before His face. Come for home. Drink in by home. When you are out of option, he's the only option. When everything else fails, it's only him. And Jehoshaphat put the worshippers in front. They fasted and prayed for three days. And when the worshippers stood on the field, the armies of God showed up. And destroyed their enemies before them. As they began to sing and praise the Lord, praise the Lord in ambushes against the men of Ammon, and Moab and Mount Seir, we were invading Judah, and they were defeated. God also had an ambush for Pharaoh. When the people of Israel moved on, God said to Moses, stretch out your hand, your staff over the sea, verse 16 of Exodus 14. And the waters opened, and they moved on. 
I believe that God is saying to us, move on. Amen. Just take that step. Just see me. As, soos jy jou gezicht na my draad, as you turn to me, I will show myself mighty in your situation. I believe that we're going to see extraordinary miracles in the next few months in people's lives. People will be testifying here of buying houses instead of selling them. People will be testifying of buying cars instead of selling them. They will be testifying of relationships that God, verhoudende wat God herstelle, mense het jou geld gesteel, mense wat jou geld skoop, they will come back running to pay you. What they owe you. People that were bowed by Satan. You know, sometimes Satan binds people. God wants to set them free. They're not choosing to be bound. I've never sat with a drug addicted person, a nicotine addicted person, an alcohol addicted person who wants to be addicted. Satan caught them. But let me tell you, when you look to the Lord, He deals with the addiction. Amen. He addresses it. You can't do it in your own strength. Yes. Let the Lord Jesus set you free. And you will be free indeed. Hallelujah. He will be your deliverer. He wants to be your Savior. And He is our way. <coughs> Paul says it this way in the book of Philippians, chapter 3, and I believe it's verse 16, uh, 14. It says it so. I press on. Let's go to my first day. First day. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, I forget what is behind. And I'm straight, extract for it. Have you ever seen that I throw very strange away the Tatiana schoonmaker? When I arm so shout. So I strike so. I place on toward the girl. I move on. This morning the Lord Jesus is saying to you, don't be captured by where you are today. Don't be captured by your situation, your health condition. Don't be captured by your financial situation. Don't be captured by this relationship today. Move on. Tomorrow is Monday. Move on. Come, come. Move on. Yes. Rack your groot broek aan en gaan. That's right. Move on. Start moving on with God. And you will see as they move God opened the Red Sea and I had them there. Move on. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, God begged them when they moved into the fire. The first video is in order to stop and I feel as my colors at a beautiful video of Zero Mesa tomorrow. Also, the fire is now being raised, but the man was a big man and the man was blood for him, who was a Mesa. Ik zal nu niet dat brood bedacht, nee, brood bedacht, nee, smeer niet. Maar let me tell you, uh, mijn kristallis is zeker mijn reis op vrouw, dat is iets gevallen van de hand. <laughs> when you walk into the fire, when you walk into that situation, be reminded that the Lord is stepping into your life. Step into that situation of But it starts by seeking God, looking <coughs> to Him. And this morning I want to encourage you. The Lord wants to help. He says, Come, come to my throne of grace and find mercy and help in your family. I will help you. Just come. Come to me. My door is
is open, come. Then she bumped the civilians. <laughs> but God, the creator of heaven and earth, the one who can change your situation, is saying, come. Just come. Come to my throne. And if you need to fast to get the unbelief sorted out, Jesus says, this kind of unbelief doesn't go out by, except by prayer and fasting, then do it. Yeah. But go. Go to your inner room. Worship God in your inner room. And you will find your breakthrough. So tell your neighbor, take four minutes and say, go, move on. <laughs> Don't sit still, move on. It's time to move on. Stay from food and the heart. Now, one translation is very interesting. It says, move forward. Move forward. Can we stand as we pray? <coughs> Father God, this morning as we come together, and you know everybody who's watching online, everybody who's in this room, you know where they are standing. And I have felt this week that there are people who feel they're out of options. They don't see solutions. They don't see answers anymore. They just see the mountains, the sea, and their enemies. But God, I thank you that you have spoken this word that you will not disappoint them. That you will cause mighty breakthroughs. As you said to Israel and Isaiah, I will let kings and queens come and take care of you. God, you know how who to send at the right time. And God, I pray that you will help us to start worshipping and dancing and laughing with you in our inner room. To go to the throne of grace and find mercy and help. For you are the Lord that helps. As Hebrews 13 says, The Lord is my helper. What can a man do to me? This day I pray, Lord, that you will bring that healing, bring that deliverance. Lord, bring that salvation. Lord, bring that change from a wrong lifestyle. God, bring that freedom, bring that financial miracle. God, thank you that you do it. Restore that relationship. Have cell life for holding your head. Bring thy beer, bro. Ears on back. You are our way maker. You are our deliverer. You are our mountain mover. You are our sea opener. You are the way. This morning I pray God that you will help us see you. To approach your throne. And find that help. For Louis Trichard and, and Borokwane and South Africa, God, our nation is out of options. It's only you that can change South Africa. It's only you that can intervene. And God, we pray for our town. We pray for the churches in our community. We pray for our nation and the believers in our nation who is today standing in difficulties. Lord, their families are in difficulties. Lord, we call unto you for help. In our time of need. Thank you Lord that you are the Lord our God. Lord Jesus it's you. Thank you Jesus that you have conquered sin and the grave. You've conquered our biggest enemy and you will conquer every enemy and at your name every knee shall bow. Sickness shall bow. Addictions shall bow. Wrong relationships shall bow and confess that Jesus is Lord. Death shall bow. Every situation will bow. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. Can you amen the opposite for Lord? Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Lord, let it be so. There's someone here who's starting a new business or you're entering, you're in a new venture. And I want to say to you that the opportunity will become a miraculous door. That God will use for you. You've got some plans in your mind. In the part of the doctor, some of And you're sitting here, you're thinking about it, and you're bringing it in your heart to God. Let me tell you, the door will open for you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Please, the Lord, I deliver. Now quickly turn to someone else and the person sitting and say, Come on, come on, move on. Move on. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday. And uh, you're going to have a real nice cup of coffee and tea. Thank you for coming out. Don't get your eight to comment.